Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover four very important parts of a circle. The center, radius, chord, and diameter. Now remember, a circle is a closed curve with all points an equal distance from the center. And circles are plane figures, meaning they're two-dimensional or flat. Let's jump into our examples, starting with the center of a circle. And simply put, the center of a circle is the middle of a circle. So that is right here. All of the points around the circle will be an equal distance from that center. So any point on the circle is the exact same distance from the center. Now you may see a letter next to the center of a circle. For example, let's put an A here next to the center. And that letter is going to be how we name a circle. We name a circle by its center. So this would be circle A. I do have another video that goes into further detail on how to name a circle and parts of a circle. That link is down in the description. Let's move on to radius, which is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle itself. So the length of a line segment that connects the center to any point on the circle. For example, we go from the center right here to this point on the circle. Now we can actually have more than one radius. For example, we can go from the center to this point on the circle right there. The plural form of radius is radii. Let me write that out. So the plural form of radius is radii. Now keep in mind, no matter how many radii you have or what direction they are going, meaning from the center to whatever point on the circle they are going, they will all have the same measure. They are all congruent. Because remember, all points on a circle are the exact same distance from the center. So for example, if this radius right here is four inches, this one over here will be as well, and any other radii within that circle. So again, radius, we are going from the center to any point on the circle. Next, we have chords, and a chord is a line segment that connects two points on the circle. So one point right here, and a line segment to another point on the circle right here. So we have a line segment that connects two points on the circle. There's no particular direction or positioning of the points that are connected, just the fact that two points on the circle are connected, and that's going to be a chord. Let's draw out another example of a chord before moving on. So we could go from here, the top of the circle, down to another point on the circle. And that will give us another example of a chord. Lastly, let's move on to diameter. Now, diameter is a very specific type of chord. It's a line segment that connects two points on the circle, but it has to go through the center of the circle. So for example, we have a line segment that connects this point and this point on the circle and goes through the center. A diameter is actually the longest chord possible because it goes all the way across the circle. A diameter cuts or divides a circle in half, so two equal parts. Each part, or half, is called a semicircle. Another important thing to understand about diameters is that they are twice the length of the radius, or vice versa. The radius is half the diameter. For example, since all of the circles in this video are the same size, if the radius is 4 inches, take a look at number 2, that means that the diameter will measure 8 inches because, again, the diameter is twice the radius. So this diameter here is going to be 8 inches. And one last thing I do want to mention about diameters is that it does not matter what direction a diameter is going as long as it connects 
two points on the circle and goes through the center. So there you have it. There is an overview of four very important parts of a circle, center, radius, chord, and diameter. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.